All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Logan TV and Skeleton. And let's get started. Now, this beautiful knife that you see in front of you is uh, designed by ATR, which, uh, you know, is uh, somebody's name. But anyway, and uh, Knife Standards is the name of the company. And the name of the knife is uh, the RR Standard. Now, this knife um, was designed and dedicated to his father because he was sitting around one day and uh, kind of talking about knife designs. And his dad said he showed his he showed his dad a picture, a sketch, and his dad said, "Man, you're gonna you're gonna sell these like crazy." And so he is coming out on the market with this after basically figuring out how to get a knife. Uh, you know, built and get it to the market and everything else like a lot of us are trying to do right now. Um, he has got this to the market. He has had a successful pre-order and uh, yeah, dedicated this to his dad. I mean, how cool is that? Now, these are made by uh, Best Tech in China. You can see this milling is just unbelievably great. You have uh, milling lines that go this way. You have diagonal lines going up and down and uh more that go down and then it's it's not what i would call contoured it is flat but then with this big chamfer here it turns out uh contoured now pivot does stand slightly proud because of that contour and you can see that um and you have a very long nice lock bar here your lock bar cutouts on the inside which is really cool more of the same milling on this side now you do see some spots where the milling's a little higher in a couple of places, but I bet they'll have that fixed for uh, the run. Now, it does have a loop over wire pocket clip. We'll talk about that. Well, I'll go ahead and talk about it now because I'll forget. You have a black clip and a black thumb stud, but the rest of your hardware is silver. I think I would have been happier with like a, a satin finished uh, on that pocket clip, but I love the fact that it's a, uh, it, it is, you know, you guys know I love a wire pocket clip so that's good now the knife blade is completely encased inside so when it's in the pocket i mean it's got a very low profile carry um it looks like yeah it is right side tip up only it is not left side you do have titanium for the frame here uh prototype here you do have titanium backspacer um, this one is a little off center, but I wouldn't get too uptight about that because this guy has been passed around to a bunch of folks. I don't usually tweak on pass around knives, so I didn't really do that because the action is in good shape. Um, yeah, I just don't, don't do a lot of tweaking on other people's knives, if you will, but I wouldn't worry about it. It's not rubbing. It's not a big deal. You can see he took up every inch of real estate, uh, out to the tip there. Just trying to open it so you can see, there we go. Uh, you can see it comes right to the edge of that backspacer. Very cool there. Um, thumb studs, about the same clearance on each side here. Uh, black thumb studs, really good. Flick that baby on out. You've got a ridiculous looking compound grind uh, here. You have a deep, deep, deep uh, hollow grind here. You have a choil with plenty of room for sharpening relief RR here. And then uh, the this wicked looking uh, swedge and a flat compound grind. So you have hollow, flat, compound. Now, it is one continuous edge, though, for sharpening purposes, which I think is more like a Japanese tanto. And it is really cool. Lots of belly, as you can see, whole lot of belly. Uh, the only other thing here is the M390 for the steel. But I thought I saw here that the finals... Uh, we're going to be magna cut. Yeah, correct. So, uh, the prototype is, um, M390. Okay. So, uh, but like I said, guys, the pre-order is done. Now, the only thing I can hope is that there will be more of these dropping, uh, once, uh, the pre once the pre-order delivers, like I did with, uh, my knife. Uh, so that is, uh, the hope. If, if you didn't get in on this, that, you know, you need to be looking if you're interested. Now, let's talk ergonomics here. It is a four-finger knife with plenty of room. You do have a deep well here, which locks you in really well. Or you can come out here, and now your second finger is locked in there. And to me, feels great. Now, this jimping, eh, not worth a whole lot for me. I guess back here, it's pretty good. But when you choke up, I'm up here like this. 
Uh, so it's all right. There's there's nothing wrong with it. It does work in this grip. Uh, ergonomically, we're pretty good, except. Um, so to me, this is kind of uh, almost 90 degrees right here. And because it's a taller handle, uh, that digs me right in here. Uh, just a little bit. I wouldn't call it a hot spot. No, no, no. And matter of fact, when I choke up like this, I don't feel it as much. But when I'm back here, I just feel, I just wish that was chamfered off a little bit more. And let's see, production changes. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see that listed as one of the production changes, but maybe it is. Um, you got this nice kind of coffin, coffin, uh, ended, uh, you know, milling and milling, cutting here on the handle. Uh, other than that, it's a very straight, very neutral handle. Very cool. Now, um, haven't done a ton of cutting because again, this has been passed around everywhere, but it is, uh, sharp for sure. Well, if I can not screw it up here, there we go. Uh, it's, it's because there's so much belly, um, you know, I, I've had a hard time keeping that tip in there. If that makes any sense, I kind of slide out of a slicing cut. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to put a whole lot of uh, stock in this because, again, it's been passed around like crazy. Does feel sharp, does have a good pierce to it. Uh, but, again, uh, not too worried about cutting performance because if it's magnet cut and it's coming from Best Tech, it's going to be sharp when they're delivered. I'm, I'm really sure of that. Now, let's go over a couple of specs here. Um, going to keep this fairly short because like I said, these are not currently available. Uh, they're going to be, uh, they were going for 385. The blade steel is going to be, is Magna Cut 3.6 inch blade, uh, 0.14 on the stock. So a little bit thicker, but that hollow grind brings it down really thin. Uh, uh, let's see. The blade finish is hand ground, ground belt satin on this one. Uh, 6A4 V, 6AL4 V titanium, handle length 4.54, plenty of length. Um, 1.18 on that handle height. That's kind of what I was talking about. It's a little taller. Handle width, half an inch, just under. Um, overall length, eight inches. It is a frame lock, of course. Um, T8, uh, captive on all the hardware is what he's looking for, and ceramic bearings. Now, uh, as far as action, this guy just, uh, pops right out of there. Um, you could see a minute ago, it, it's more of a shaker, but it comes on down just fine. Uh, no problems whatsoever there. Um, very, very interesting knife. I mean, just cool. Now, lockup, very good. Uh, no blade play, no lock rock. About 45% there. And again, it is not centered, but I'm not too worried about it. I feel like I gave it a bad run on the cutting. I did do a little more... Uh, cutting early earlier in the day um, and didn't have as much trouble as I just had. So I'm going to try this one more time and just believe that that was just a bad uh, run there. So there you go. Okay. That, that was just me pulling out of the end of the cut uh, because again, it's that rounded belly there and, and uh, at the, at the tip. So it was just pulling out of the cut. That's all. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely a good cutter. And by the way, they will come in these hard cases. Now, uh, if you ordered one, you already know, uh, you know, you're getting a, a pretty fantastic, by the way, the other changes, uh, let's see, where is it? Um, he's going to round uh, these, the, the, the profile clips uh, and body screws. So they're rounded and not sort of sticking up right there. They kind of stick up on that, on that uh, uh, contour. Uh, so they'll be rounded um but max blade height will be 27 millimeters t all t8 hardware magna cut of course uh you did have a dlc version yeah so yeah that's basically it but a really interesting design uh, not one i typically flock to but now that i've had it in hand i really dig it and again uh, i think i said it was almost five ounces um doesn't feel that heavy to me in the hand. I don't know. I can't find the weight right now, but I saw that somewhere. It was like 4.8, uh, 5.07 ounces, uh, but it's, it's definitely does not feel bad. Uh, feels pretty good. And again, carries very low profile. So there you go, guys. Uh, the knife standards are our standard produced by best tech. And I'd be looking for, well, my camera cut off there. Uh, I realized, I just realized too, I have the Devo 
uh, coaster here from doing a review earlier. This is not a Devo knife, uh, but that, that's okay. Kevin got a little extra plug. Check out Devo knives, but this is the knives standards knife. So sorry that was there, but uh, yeah, so sorry it cut off. Uh, anyway, great knife. Check it out, knifestandards.com. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this fantastic knife. And thanks for watching Whew, the Messed Up Guy Knives Fast channel.